All right, good afternoon, friends. It's Curtis Robson. I'm here with uh, Hell's Gates, and Hell's Gates is the barbarian build for the hero class. And I've got this mission to go and fight Juno Hoslo. This is a, one of those uh, uh, volcanic ma uh, manor missions. Let me tell you what, he's a hard dude to freaking fight. I'm pretty tough. I think I'm. I think I've got everything in place that I need. I'm not going to be able to use my uh, mimic term. I'm going to go ahead and get rid of him. Um, I did change my helmet to something just lighter because I think I lose my, I'm pretty sure I lose my plus five to strength when I go through. Uh, I don't want to be fat rolling. If I'm fat rolling, it's just going to suck. Anyways, I'm going to do my best to just to beat this guy, but he is I know I've got to have good timing and I can't mess around. Alright, now I'm in his world. I agree, we must drink. God, I can't believe I beat him. This guy I've never beaten easily on the first time. Man, it's his ability to move. And by the way, his ability and my ability are very similar. That fading in, the fading in and fading out kind of deal is uh, definitely a great ability. And I got his pedal whip and his helm and all of his gear and so on and so forth. But I'm not going to wear that because I kind of like the way that my dude looks. Radon's armor is definitely pretty good, I'll tell you that. All right, so, uh, righty, I think. Hmm. Yeah, I was kind of thinking there was another um, grace around here somewhere. Let's back out. Okay. And let's zip this way. that. We'll take that for sure. Since I'm here, I'm going to go ahead and do the jump spring trick. Bang! And I'm going to go, there is a uh, dude over here, a hermit. I'm going to go ahead and chat with him briefly. And see if he's got anything that I can buy. Alrighty. Someone that custom well. Definitely want all three of those. Yeah, I don't have enough money. Let's sell some junk uh, Let's see. 14 of those. Three of those. Five of those. Four of those. I don't get enough to freaking buy one more. Let's buy that one. I'll buy three of these. I can only buy one. I need another 10 grand. Hmm. Give me a second, let's find a 10 grand one. Which is that one? Here's 10 grand. I'm gonna go ahead and. There we go, now I definitely have enough. Get those two, I'm gonna buy that. Alright. How many of these do I have left? I got a ton. How many of these do I have left? Hmm. Okay. Queens got that. Let's uh, let's go back and head this way. Definitely have a little bit of uh, work that we can get done over right over here. So having beaten Hoslow, 
I do need to get back to Volcano Manor at some point. Let's take a look and see where we are now. If I go... I do have a small, simple mission here. Yeah, let's go ahead and do that one real quick. It'll be super easy. Alright, aside from the bats that are lingering around. That... Looking dudes. Think. I don't know where it is. Maybe it's in here. I'm looking for a uh, jellyfish. Here we go. So we're gonna. All right, just jump off. Here we go. All right. Let's go here, and all I gotta do is summon this guy, and they'll talk. Kind of crazy, isn't it? All right, now breaks the seal, which enables me to go in here. Open this and uh, get another cool idea. Or not idea, another talisman. Alright, primal glintstone blade. Cool, cool, cool. Anything glintstone is magic, so just so you know. Alright, so that's really all I needed to do here. Alright, I can cross over and go hit this Ur tree. Let's do that. I do need to get back the other way too. But we'll go this way. Do this archery boss real quick. So one of the beautiful things about having played this game enough is that I kind of know where things are and how to <coughs> fight, you know, most of the bosses and so forth. So I usually can kind of get in and get out. Uh, we're gonna hang a hard left here. That looks like what's left of an archery. Can I go the right way? I did. What do we got there? Hmm, number nine. Not bad. I will tell you that I just got my butt handed to me uh, fighting a different uh, Erd Tree guy. Alright. Let's get this guy out of the way. bunch of demi-human ads. Let's get these guys done too. Two for one. Ha <laughs> ha! Love that. Alright. So we got rid of the demi-humans. And there should be Some sort of putrid avatar or Urtree avatar, some sort of something over here. There he is. Alright, I can get my dude out. I'm going to go ahead and do that. Let's do. Let's um, let's do this one. Know what I meant to do, and of course I should have drank first. All right, let's go to this. Let's see what I can do. I think. Let's get out in the open here. There we go. And now I can fight. Wait, maybe you're taking a bit of a beating, isn't he? Oh, 
Oh, there's two now. Nice. I'm just smoking this uh, bow. Of course, he's smoking him and pretty good there. Let's finish this guy off. Shots, I should have him. So, you know, uh, when you kind of think about the enemies that you're fighting, you want to make sure that you don't do what they're good at. This guy is tough and pretty good up close. Right, let's get past his magic. Yeah, buddy's going to shoot me now. Nice. They don't move. I got him. Oop, and he almost got me. I hit the uh, gas. How much did I get for that? I I got a million. Yeah, 70,000 is pretty good. Alright, not too bad. Alright, friends, so... We'll have to go completely the other way. But, let's... Let's get back to where I was. Run back this way. Go back to my sword here. We got a couple more dudes we want to fight real quick. Or as quickly as possible, I should say. I mean, it's not taking me 30 minutes to kill a guy. I should be able to get a little 2 for 1 or 3 for 1 action going on here. Alright, so when I cross this, there's going to be all kinds of awful things trying to kill me. So. Okay, not this one. It's the next bridge. This bridge is fairly safe. So we're looking for, there's another death bird, and there is another tibia mariner. By the way, I need to turn in that other item to the beast clergyman. All right, this is the bridge. I'm going to get totally wrecked on if I'm not careful. So we want to... Take a medium pace, and then once hit the gas, as people start coming up, you do not want to get hit by that move. Take a look. If my calculations are correct, I do not want him shooting me. His uh, death spell there is. Pretty sure I should. There he is. 
can say I'm pretty sure I should be able to see to be Mariner from here. Alright, let's go to equipment and let's load up a little bow action here. So I've got the high ground, friends. That is the piece I try hard to convince people to be on the lookout for. Take your time, find the best angle. This is trying to dodge me. And there he is. All right, let's see if I can get him with a couple of uh, these shots here. 280 is not great. Alright, it would be better just to go direct, I think. Let's change bows. Uh, let's just try this bow, by the way, and see if I get any, any additional love. Alright, this bow might do more damage. This is Radon's gray bow. Not a whole lot better, 300. He's not that big. It works best against really big enemies like dragons and stuff. Let's get the last shot on him. Take a hit, let's try to hit him. See, I didn't, I just, I'm just not doing crap for damage. Alright, let's get rid of that one and let's go direct. Alright, we will go direct. Let's see. So this one, I don't hit the ground. This one should not miss. And it should do some significant damage. Here we go, 200 damage. So if I'm basically going to do 200 damage or 300 damage, I might as well do it direct rather than burning up an $800 uh, arrow. The Don's bow is crazy expensive. Take this guy out. Here. Kind of 58 arrows. I just bought arrows. Did I use all those? Oh yeah, I just fought the uh, Erd Tree guy. I need to drink. Okay, this makes sense. I'm kind of worrying if I might want to throw a pot at him or something. Be really anything better. Let's get back over here. It's kind of a game for that part, by the way. He's seriously just gonna stand there and let me nail him. Come on, dude. Come back this way so I can use the pot. There you go. Thank you so much. Alright. I think I can get through that far. A little bit of damage. There we go. Now he's getting close. 450. Let's say 450 or 150. Maybe 450. That's not bad. <coughs> Should I hit him with another arrow or two? Am I out? And, you know, my bow is uh, reasonably well outfitted. It's uh, plus 18 or something. Plus 25 is max. This guy might just be resistant to piercing the fire. It's going to be a thousand arrows to get him. Now all those crazy things that were trying to kill me will be gone. 
which should enable me to jump down there. Now again, there's a death bird I'm going to have to fight. I think I'm going to run past him the first time. Alex! Death bird should be right over here. there for a second. Gonna zoom over here. We're going to touch the grace. Got a zap hole it, man. Randomly. Yeah. Kinda like to take down that mausoleum real quick too. Stay back and shoot it with arrows. Don't recommend doing this with your own sword. Imaginary swords, gaming swords, fair enough. If you do this with a real sword, you're going to be jacked with your blade. Take down the mausoleum. You get a chance to get an, another remembrance. Remember that the remembrance is basically going to give you weapons, or you can change them into runes. I will get 50, 60, 70 thousand rune, runes if I don't want the item. <coughs> I don't think that anybody's got an item that I really want. <coughs> I do want the blasphemous blade at some point, so I don't want anything that this can get me or that. <coughs> I don't need that. That. Uh, I got Radon's bow. I don't need the only king's bow. Well, I mean, he's got a cursed sword. It's not, it's not bad. I'll go ahead and just take this one. I'm probably just going to sell it. All right, so now that I have done that, let's go ahead and hit the grace. Level up. Look like Death Bird. We do have to go inside this building. That's Castle Soul. It is a required place. Uh, you have to go there. Get the other part of the Halleck tree uh, medallion. Level up. And I'm at 40. I think that's the soft cap for strength. It goes up to, well, you can go indefin indefinitely. I think 999 is the, the ultimate cap. Oh, man. <laughs> How unfortunate! My uh, my controller just just went to crap. I got I got no power. Hmm, what am I gonna do? I guess I will have to end it right here, and we will 
do more later. I'll try to get back on there. We'll get Death Bird. Uh, I'm going to recharge this or go get a different controller. I've got more. Anyways, I will have to pause here. I'll catch you later. Be sure to subscribe and like and share on your social media channels. Thanks.